In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to actually take an image or a JPEG and put it on a flat face in Inventor. This is what we actually refer to as decals. So to get started, what I need to do is actually create an additional plane. Now, if you recall that when we first did our sketches in anything, it always starts with a particular plane, whether it's YZ, XZ, or XY. And I can actually select that. But I can actually create additional planes on an object. So in order to do so, what I plan to do is go over this button right over here where it says plane. And by clicking on it, I'm going to come over this face. I'm going to left click hold and then pull this up just like that. Once I'm done, I can hit the check mark. Now the distance of the plane away from the surface doesn't really matter. And it's going to be important for us though to put a sketch on this particular plane so we can wrap it around this face right over here. Okay, so now that we have our plane created, let's actually go ahead, click on this, and we want to create a new sketch on here. So once I have a new sketch, one thing that you're going to see is you can actually click on the image button to place an image. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded a, um, an iOS 14 screenshot, and in doing so I'm just going to go ahead and open that. Now of course you can see on a preview outline that my image is much, much larger than the actual face. So I'm just going to click on that for now and then hit the escape button on my keyboard. From there, I'm going to click on this, grab the grips, and start to resize this and move this in a way where I can fully get it onto the face. Might have to do a little bit of rotating around to sort of see how things all sort of come into their own here. Let's make this a bit smaller. Almost there. Okay, now that I've taken the time to actually resize this screenshot, I'm going to click on Finish Sketch. Okay, so from here, I'm going to find my decal button, and then I'm going to click on that. Now, one of the things I need to do is I need to actually select the image here because it's in red and it's telling me that I need to select that image. So let's go ahead and click on that image. Now you can see it's illuminated in blue and it's ready. Next thing I need to do is click on select a face and then click on the face and you can see it's also in blue. So just one more step here. I need to make sure that I wrap to face. Click on OK. And there you go. You can actually see how the image is now part of the actual inventor object. One problem here, I think this kind of would drive me a little crazy, especially if I wanted to put buttons on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this plane. And in doing so, I'm going to right click while it's selected and turn off the visibility. Whatever you do, don't delete the work plane because then the image will follow along and get deleted at the same time. So now I'm ready to render or apply materials and then put this as part of an assembly a little bit later on with some other objects. So that's how you create a decal on an inventor face.